Well, good morning and uh, welcome back to a very snowy and freezing cold West Lothian. I'm trying to work fast here because I've left my gloves in the car and I'm getting frostbite already. So it's very cold. It's about minus four, something like that. So I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done that. Left my gloves behind. Anyway, right. So I'm, I'm up here at this place called Cairn Papal, which is uh, up in the Bathgate Hills, uh, just above Linlithgow, where I was the other day there, just across where am I now? Uh, just over there somewhere is where I was um, and I don't know if you can see in the background here uh, all the hills that I took shots of in that massive panorama that didn't really work out especially but anyway we're here now it's a lovely sunny morning um, probably the only sunny morning we're going to get this week so I'm going to try and get a vlog in regardless um, uh, yeah so up at Cairn Papa which is an ancient stone circle uh, older than Stonehenge I believe one of the most important Neolithic sites they reckon in Britain So that's what I'm going to grab a picture of just now. Uh, we've got the Sun coming up. If I stick on a movie here, I'll let you see What we've got going on a uh, Sun's coming up in behind you over there uh, I'm looking in at the this big mound here. It was at one point a cairn, but some uh, archaeologists back in the 1920s or 30s or something decided they would excavate the cairn and they replaced it with this Basically, it's a huge concrete lump. You can go down inside and see the graves that are inside, but uh, that's not the original cairn that's there, nor is the glass roof on it. So, uh, but the stone circles around the, around the outside, they're original. They've been there for about four or 5,000 years, something like that. And anyway, yes, that's your history lesson for today. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to grab a picture of this. We've got the sun shining in from just over there, illuminating the whole lot from the side. I've got the picture polarised, which has given me this really, really dark, dark sky here, which I actually quite like. I mean, I know it's, it doesn't look anything like natural, um, but in this particular instance, I do quite like it. I'll turn the polarizer down just a little bit here. That's up, down. See how the sky gets a lot kind of more natural, and more brighter blue, if you like. But I do like that very, against the snow, that very, very dark, almost navy blue that we're getting there. So we'll get that. We're getting a nice kind of orange glow over on the horizon there as well, which again, I quite like. So let's just grab that while we can. Let me switch the movie off. And I shall focus up and grab the shot. Okay, so I've moved over just a few metres now um, and I'm looking not directly at the, 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 the burial mound anymore but over towards what we've got here which is basically it looks like an old air raid shelter and it probably is but it's, uh, it's where um, Historic Scotland own this place, it's where they sell the tickets when it's open which is usually over the summer. So but it looks quite nice in the snow uh, so I'll get a picture of that if I switch on Again, the movie, so you can see what I'm looking at, rather than looking at me. There we go. The other thing you can see, which is fairly dominant, is this uh, this massive aerial here. Um, which, frankly, it's, a, it's an eyesore, and you can see it from all over West Lothian. As I said, this is the highest point in West Lothian here. So, uh, and that thing kind of dominates. However, we're up here now, um, so I'm going to grab a picture of that and then after that I shall zoom in and I'll get a picture of the hut on its own because it does look really nice in the snow. Uh, I also like, I should maybe put in this uh, this leading line here, which is uh, it's a ditch that was built around the, the, uh, the burial site. Um, again, I'm not entirely certain why, I could probably look it up and find out, but anyway, it's there. Uh, so let's just, uh, I'll switch the movie off and again I'll get the picture I'm sitting at F9, 80th of a second ISO 100 So, uh, 
just again I shall focus up. I've got the camera low because I want the, the wee kind of Nissan hut thing to stick up above the horizon slightly. I can maybe get it lower, I'm not sure. But uh, I'll maybe take a few shots and I'll show you the best one, okay? But for now, I'll kick off with this. Click. Well, I've moved down now onto the path. My fingers are getting absolutely frozen. It is really cold here. Um, yeah, so I've moved down onto the path. I'm just shooting directly towards the Nissan hut now and the uh, visitor centre, as it's properly known. Uh, down towards that, eh, with the, the aerial in the background against the clear blue sky, which, again, looks really nice in the snow. So uh, I'll switch the movie on, let you see it. And again, it's a nice... Relatively simple composition. We've got the, the fence here with the leading line leading directly into the sidelit hut. We've got the aerial, which is, you can't see here because for some reason I've got this thing shooting video in 16x9. But when I put it on a 3x2 for the photograph, we should get the top of the aerial not being chopped off. Uh, yeah, so that's that. We've got a clear blue sky again, which again stops things getting complicated. We've got the sun shining on the side of everything as the sun comes up. I think... This, because I'm freezing my fingers off, um, it's going to be the last picture of the day. The sun's getting too bright for, for nice pictures anyway. So I'll grab this, head back to the car, get home. <sighs> nice cup of coffee. However, yes, let's get this shot. Switch the movie off. And off we go. Focus up. There. Focusing on the hut. Um, I've got the... I didn't say, but I've got the aerial on the, rule, aerial on the rule of thirds. I've got the fence leading down to the other rule of thirds. Grab the shot. Go. Cool. 